hi guys how are you i am just stuck in traffic i don't know about you guys but it's like <sighs> i wasn't feeling well yesterday i feel a little bit better today but it's kind of like no matter how you feel when you have kids and you have responsibilities you have appointments and stuff like that you can be busy all week but your weekend may just be as busy you know you may not get that that rest and that sleep that you desire because you're just busy <laughs> i was just like man i couldn't even sleep in today and it's saturday because they have um to go to the optometrist for um for their eye exams and now i'm stuck in traffic because there's i think there's a baseball game going on but that's not why i'm making you guys this video i've been in traffic for probably like 30 minutes now yeah that's how bad it is um I'm making this video because as I'm sitting here in traffic and I'm just, you know, meditating and talking to the Lord, you know, I'm sitting here in traffic and I got a word for someone and I know this person is feeling really hurt because when I got the word for the person, it's like I felt this feeling of heartache and the same feeling of heartache that um, I felt for this person or it's like the same type of feeling I felt in the past when I lost someone who I thought was a friend. And God and me were talking about it. And I just want to say to whoever you are that it's a good thing you found out now that this person was hating on you than, than later on. You know, when people reveal who they truly are, believe them. When God shows you someone's true character and true colors, believe it. You get what I'm saying? There's no sense in holding on to someone who does not have your best interests at heart, who when they're around you, they're fake. When they're around you, they pretend they're happy for you, but deep in their heart, they don't want you to have what you have. They want to have what you have, or they don't want you to have it. They want to have more than you. You get what I'm saying? There's no point and there's no sense in having someone around you like that. I know it's hurtful that whatever was recently revealed to you because when the way god was showing it to me is something someone just found out something and someone's hurting because this information that you just found out about this person is fresh information the wound is still fresh it has not healed yet there's no scab on it yet it's still an open cut it's fresh you get what i'm saying that's how he was showing it to me and i know it's painful because you're like man like how could the very person that i opened up to how could the very person that I cried to, how can the very person that I told my deepest, you know, my deepest, darkest, you know, trauma or deepest, darkest secrets, how could it be the very person that I spoke to about my past that claimed to understand my past, that claimed to understand my story? How could it be that very person that God is telling me now that I have to let go of? God is telling me now that they low-key hate on me. God is telling me now that they can't go with me where he's taking me. How could it be that very person, the only person in, that I've had from... It's like you had someone... It's like for years you may not have had anyone you can talk to. For years you may not have had anyone that could understand you on that level. You get what I'm saying? And I'm talking about the level of spirituality, the level of being an anointed, the level of not having anyone to understand your gifts, not having anyone to understand the trauma and the pain that you've endured because everybody is so caught up into this world. No one's really awake like that. Do you get what I'm saying? And you find someone who you have that understanding with and you're like, how could it be that very person who I finally found and I'm able to resonate with? That's the very person that dislikes me. And it's hard for you to understand that because you're like, God, this person has gifts too. God, this person may be anointed too. God, this person may have a prophecy and a purpose too. You get what I'm saying? So you're like, God, it's not like this person was of the world. The way how this person made it seem is like they were different from everybody else. This person understands spiritual warfare. This person understands what I've been battling. And this is the very person you're telling me to let go of. God, I don't understand. I understand your frustration and your pain. And I think that's why God gave me the message to give to you. Because I can understand that. Let me tell you something. People want to see you do good, but they don't want to see you do better than them. 
You get what I'm saying? It's like they want to, they may have intentions for you. Their intentions may have been pure from the get go. But as soon as you guys start hanging out together, and as soon as you, God starts blessing you more, and they realize that their plate is not as full as your plate, and they start comparing their plate to your plate, then the, eventually they're going to have some animosity towards you. It's a good thing that God showed you that early on. It's a good thing that God showed you that now before he took you where he wanted to take where he wants to take you. Because had he took you where he wants you to take you and you found that out then, it was going to be a lot more painful than it is now. At least now you can start the healing process. So when you get to where God needs you to be, you're already on a different level. You've already gained wisdom and knowledge from this particular situation. You already know how to move when it comes to other people now. You get what I'm saying? You know how to move when it comes to other people. You know how to move when someone comes in with this wolf and uh, with with this um uh sheep and, and wolf and sheep's clothing. You know how to move when you meet somebody else like this because you've just experienced it. You're healing from it. You gain wisdom from it. So now, when you get to a higher level of your calling and your purpose, right now you're able to move a lot differently. Do you get what I'm saying? Now you're able to move a lot differently because now you understand the dynamics of, you know, of having someone who around you who secretly doesn't like you. Now you understand the characteristics and characteristics and traits of individuals like this because you were just around someone like that. You get it? So God did this to teach you. God did this to teach you. and He did this to give you wisdom. Okay. And I know you're like, well, how could it be someone that is just like me? They're not just like you. You're like, how could it be someone that's just like me that has a calling or an anointing? But the thing is, they're not just like you. That's the difference. That's why God is allowing you to release them. Because if they were just like you and their anointing was was on the same level as your anointing or their plate was supposed to be as full as your plate, they would not have done what they did to you. Do you get what I'm saying? See, God knows who deserves what. God knows who deserves fruits and who doesn't deserve fruits. God knows exactly how much fruits to give to a particular person. God said, if I can trust you with a little bit, I can trust you with more. And if this person was just like you, they would not do what they just did to you they wouldn't i'm gonna give an example of this saul and david david couldn't understand why saul hated him because david was david was so favored by saul saul loved david saul wanted david around him all the time because saul saw david's anointing you get what i'm saying and, and david looked up to saul he looked up to Saul. David was under Saul's, you know, literally under up, up Saul's hip all the time. Like he was by Saul's, he was on Saul's hip. Saul had him around all the time. You get what I'm saying? And, and Saul's like, and, and David's like, okay, I have someone that's like me, someone that has an anointing like me, someone that can understand God like me. Saul thought the same thing. I have someone around me that can understand God like me, someone around me that can understand warfare, that can understand this and understand that. And that's why they clicked. Because they both had something in common in that moment, and that is having a relationship with God. But one person's anointing was a lot more, I'm not going to say a lot more powerful, but I'm going to say more like one person deserved a lot more on their plate than the other because God knew the heart, the heart of both individuals and realized one person's heart was a lot more pure than the other. Do you get what I'm saying? And that's why God decided to give David the crown to be king and took Saul out of his position. Do you see what I'm saying? And like I said, Saul loved David until Saul saw that David was going to surpass him. That's when Saul decided not to love David anymore. That's when Saul's intentions changed. That's when Saul started to plot against David. So it does happen. It is possible for someone else who claims to be a child of God or someone else who claims to have an anointing or someone else who has a relationship with God. It's possible for them to even turn on you. That's an example of it, okay? So God wants you to heal now because he wants you to heal. So when you get to your next season, you have more wisdom, you have more understanding, and God has to teach you the characteristics of different people. So now you know how to move, okay? So don't worry, God has your back. I know it's hurtful and I know it's painful, but God has your back, okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.